Hey, thanks for joining me. Tonight coming at you with a quick view of the Spyderco Brower. This Spyderco Brower, as you can see in green G10, and I was just kind of holding on that shot for a moment because it's pretty hard to get the color to come through on the Spyderco G10. You know, I've taken pictures and pictures of this knife, and um, sometimes it just looks black. So, I'm trying to get the green to come through. Once again, another new offering from Taiwan. A lot of new models coming out of Taiwan, and another Spider Co. named after the maker. The Brower, you know, I, I, I like to look at the paperwork, so I'll pop the paperwork out of here real quick. I do like the spider clip paperwork. You know, Jerry Brower designed the Brower and tells you all about the knife right there. Pretty nice. Let's check it out. Let's get right into the knife. Spyderco Brower, that Spyderco Green G10 that, you know, it does look black. A lot of times people think it's black, so I try to get a picture of the green and it's hard to do. My pictures look black. It is grippy G10, just the normal Spyderco G10. And that other side being, well... Bead glass titanium. See, you can see that titanium, the chrome, chromish spider co clip out of Taiwan. So having that Taiwan chromish finish and the Taiwan titanium. So, yeah, half titanium. Half G10. Let's check out that blade. You know, just CPM S30V with that satin belt grind from Taiwan. That Taiwan Spidey right there on the blade. Some nice jumping on the back of the spine. See that maker's mark, that little kind of like a jack o' lantern face there, smiling at you. See the flow through construction, this knife keeping it, it pretty much as light as it can be. Also, you know, keeps the lint from building up inside there or anything like that. See the lock interface being steel on steel titanium having that lock bar insert with just a little bit of a little bit of knurling there so you can get your thumb on there when you disengage the lock bar you see the spider hole just a little bit covered up but they have the g10 Contour down so you can just slide your hole in there or slide your finger right into the hole and that's a opens with the hole pretty well. Pretty easy to access the lock bar there. There is a cutout to hold the knife, but there's enough lock bar to easily easily get your thumb in and disengage the blade. Let's see overall what this looks like in hand. You know, it's not the biggest knife. Spyderco does specialize in a lot of smaller blades. It has that choil there on the blade. So actually get your whole hand on the knife. You can see a large size hand, I guess. A large size glove or whatever. And um, using the choil, I have plenty, plenty.
plenty of handle, extra handle even. That nice, sort of a spear point style blade. Not quite a spear point, maybe a leaf, leaf style, spiderco leaf blade. So it's not really a drop, you know, this one doesn't just drop down, but it's definitely smooth. Um, spider flicking it open, it would be harder because you can see, well, on this side, what's that about? 75% of the hole being open. Well, on this side, maybe, maybe 50%, maybe. So let's, let's try it. You really gotta, really gotta get your nail way up in there. You know, I've ne never, never actually tried it. So trying it right here on camera for the first time. Um, yeah. So that was that. I don't know, it just doesn't really feel like a spidey flick knife to me. There's plenty of them out there already. And um, this one opens great with your thumb. Just boom, boom, and boom. So yeah, super nice quality. You know, if you like that spider coat, green G10, like I do like it. And well, here's a military with the green G10. I guess we're getting a pretty good shot of the color here. Doesn't look too black. So it's very dark green G10, like dark forest green. And I like, I like the uh, green G10. So if you do, it matches right in. Let's get a side-by-side -side comparison, maybe of the size of this knife with something else, like possibly Delica, maybe a Delica, a Delica, another mid-size Spyderco, medium to small Spyderco, or you could say. So we'll get that out there, do a little side-by-side. -side. Of course, the closest knife is probably gonna look bigger. The Nate is pretty, Close to it, I think, you know, here's a, well, a native five. So put that down there and just try to get a, maybe a side-by-side -side of maybe a couple of the more popular spider coats, that's for sure. The Delica and native five to uh, spider coats backbone knives. And you can see that brower just Little bit smaller than than both of them, although with the with the choil here, you know, it does give you a a lot of handle to wear on the. There you go on the Delica. Yeah, show this again. I already showed it once, but choked back. Yeah, your your fingers off there a little bit. Same thing on the native, I think. Let's see, let's see the the natives like. Just a little more handle on the native, and you also have the choil. So, a little comparison to maybe a couple, like I said, maybe more of the popular spider coats, the native five and the Delica. It does feel pretty light in hand. I'm not sure how, how light is it. I, you know, I don't know. I didn't look at the specs, I just just got the knife out. Went right for the video. Let's put it on the scale. Let's see. Let's see, two point seven eight ounces. So that's pretty. That's pretty light. Two point seven eight ounces. I mean, not that this is normal delica, but I, now, now I'm just wondering. You know, titanium, it does lighten it up, or maybe the design of the, you know, not the, no back lock and everything. It's just, just hollow there. 
Same thing here. This one's going to be heavier. Well, this is a saber grinding. But I just was wondering now how much of these are. So, yeah, way lighter. Way lighter than this Native 5. Of course, like I said, this is not a normal Native 5 lightweight with the... Not the best comparison, but here's what we are going for. 2.78 ounces. That's, that's pretty lightweight for a blade that is, I don't know. We haven't even, we haven't even said. How, how big is the blade? Really? You know, it's just under three inches. Oh yeah, just under three inches. If, you're, if you need to stay under three inches for whatever reason, you know, cutting area of about two and a half inches. So overall, not a bad blade. Not a bad blade at all. Pretty impressed with it. You know, I've been impressed with, uh, actually most of the spider goes out of, out of Tai Chung. The, the fit and finish, the quality is very good. You know, the jimping, it's not overdone, but it's, it's, it's super sharp. Um, you know, not over sharp, it's just consistent too, and clean. You know, sometimes the spider coat jimping, um, it can vary a little bit, and sometimes it's not as clean as others, so. Once again, Tai Chung doing a, doing a great job. Hey, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more about the Brower, you could check them out at theknifejoker.com. And thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.